hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here thank you so much for checking out my video my name is alex and i post videos every monday and thursday and sometimes on the weekends before we begin i would just like to give a quick shout out to alicia williams alicia thank you so much for being a supporter you were the first to comment on my last video and i just wanted to take the time out to say thank you for all your support I'm going to be doing shout outs in all of my videos so make sure that you have your notification bell on because I will be giving a shout out to the first comment in all of my next videos. So today we're going to be doing a classic long French nail poly gel set and if you would like to learn more then keep watching. But first... Subscribe, hit that notification bell. I promise it's worth it. So starting off, I'm going to go in with this wooden stick and get all of the gunk from underneath my nails. Don't judge me, y'all. I had a lot in my nails today. I don't know what was going on. Next, I will be using the Blue Cross Cuticle Remover. I got this squeezy thing from um, The Ordinary. I use their niacinamide, so if you have like a lot of skincare, stuff that you don't use, and you have like a dropper, you can just clean out the dropper and use it. And all I'm going to do is apply that precisely and directly on my cuticles. And then I'm going to let that sit for about two to three minutes. So after you let that sit, you're going to go in with this double-ended scraper. I purchased this off of Amazon. I also purchased the cuticle remover on Amazon, and both links will be in my description box below. And all I'm going to do is push back my cuticles. The nail, the cuticle dissolver really does all of the work for you, so if you're not a fan of going in with, like, you know, those nail nippers and going around your cuticles, because I'm definitely not, this makes it super easy and painless. I'm going to flip it over on the other side now and just really scrape around and making sure that I really have all of my cuticles off of my nail bed. The eyes can be very deceiving, so even if you don't think you have cuticles on your nail beds, you really want to make sure that you are still pushing them back and getting them off because if you do not, then the poly gel will not stick to your nails. So now I'm going to go in with my nail drill. This is the EC Basket um, nail file and I'm going to go in with a sanding band on the lowest possible speed. You don't need this at all if you um, don't have a e-file. You can just use a regular emery board and I'm going to even show you how to do that in my next clip. But I just do this because it's faster for me. But I'm going in on it with a very low speed and just putting some scrapes in my nail bed. You want to make sure that you're putting some scrapes in there because if you don't, then the poly gel won't stick. But yeah, like I was saying, if you don't have an e-file, you can absolutely just go in with a regular nail file and put some scrapes in your nail bed this way. So now I'm going to go in with these nail clippers. I'm going to go in now with a nail dehydrator. This one I purchased off of Amazon. I believe it was like $4 or $5. Um, I'm not sure, but the link will be down below in the description.
So I'm going in with a primer as well. This isn't necessary. I just like to do this so my nails have a really good hold. This primer and base coat I actually got from the brand Burano. It came in a poly gel set. I love that set. It's really good if you're a beginner. That will be linked down below as well. So I'm going to go in with their primer, cure that, and then go in with the base coat and then cure that. Oh, I lied. I used the base coat from McCart. But like I said, I do like the base coat from the Bam Burano, but I guess I'm going to go in with the McCart base coat and then cure that. <laughs> So the star of the show, we're going to go in with these soft gel nail tips that I purchased off of Amazon. I love Amazon, y'all, clearly. I purchased like everything off of Amazon, but I'm so in love with these nail tips. I tried a different shape. These are the square tips, and I'm so in love, like so in love. So a lot of people ask me, um, because I use full nail covers to do my poly gel, and I don't take the full nail covers off like you would with dual forms. A lot of people ask me if it comes off and the answer is no, it doesn't because they are soft gel nail covers. It kind of meshes with the poly gel and, as opposed to dual forms, which are plastic, which allows them to pop off. So I hope that helps um, answer your questions. But yeah, you want to make sure when you're buying full nail covers and if you're doing this, um, if you're doing poly gel this way, you want to make sure that the full nail covers are soft gel nail covers. So now I'm going to go in with this little um, diamond stand that I purchased from Amazon and this white glaze nail polish that I purchased from Sally's. This nail stand is crucial if you do poly gel often. It'll be linked down below. Um, I really like this set because it comes with the individual diamond stand here and it also comes with the rows of five as well. But I'm going to go in with this brush that I purchased off of Shein. I did a nail art haul. And I showed you guys everything and these brushes came in it. It was a pack of three. I think it was three dollars. I'm not sure. But if you want to check out that haul, I'll link it above here. All I'm going to do for my French tips is I go in and I draw it out how I want it to look. And you can also do it the other way if it's easier for you. Another way is you could take your full nail cover, turn it around and put in your the pink color whatever pink or nude color you want to use for like the fleshy part at the bottom you could go in that way and form your nail and form the smile line cure it and you want to use a thin layer and then go in with some white poly gel put that down and then cure that that's one way you could do it and if you want a more in-depth way of how to do that I actually do have a video doing it that way and I'll link that above here if you don't think this way is going to work for you. I just like using this method because it I don't know I just prefer this way for some reason but what I'm going to do now is just go in paint it and I'm going to do two coats because my white gel polish isn't as potent as I would like it to be so if you have a white gel polish that's super thick then I would recommend going in with that one but yeah I'm going to give it two nice coats and cure it in between coats. So after that, we're going to take it off. I'm going to be going in with the Rosalind Soft Pink Poly Gel. I love this soft pink poly gel. Can you guys guess where this poly gel is from? Amazon. Yeah, girl, you guessed right. I love Amazon. I'm telling y'all, I have a problem. That may be at my house every single day. But anyway, for this video, I'm going to go in with some 70% alcohol as my slip solution. And I'm just going to pat that in my nails. You want to make sure that around the cuticle area, it's thinner than the rest of your nail cover. And you also don't want to put too much poly gel in your nail covers at all. Um, but if you do happen to get too much in there and it squeezes out, I'll show you guys how I wipe around. 
So boom, when you put it on and if you get too much around the cuticle like here, all you got to do is wipe around and you want to make sure that you're getting that before you cure it because if you cure it like that, it's a done deal. It's a done deal. I mean, you could get it off, but you just it would just be easier if you got it off first. <laughs> So I'm going to be doing the same method for my other three nails and I figured I wanted to start like a new type of thing on my channel. Let me know how you guys feel about it. So yeah, I'm thinking about starting a like nail and story time series, something like that, where I come on here, I do my nails and I'd like show you guys everything that I'm doing, show you the products still, but I tell a story time while I'm doing my nails instead of doing in-depth tutorials all the time you know i would still give you guys some in-depth tutorials but i would come on here and tell some type of story whether that be personal or maybe this could be a way for me to connect with some of my subscribers more like maybe you guys would give me a story time or like a question that you want to ask me and i talk about my experience and give some advice you know i don't know something different so let me know what you guys think about that concept um, I think I'm going to try it out, not in my next video, but the one after that. Who knows, maybe it will be my next video. But yeah, I think I'm going to do a story time. And I think I'm going to title it like, Nail and Story with me. No, that doesn't make sense. Story time and nails. No, that doesn't make sense either. I'm going to figure it out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, for real. I really would like to know your feedback and if you guys would even be interested in this. Because I don't want to do it and then you're like, girl, I ain't come here for this. I want to see an in-depth tutorial. And let me know and I'll keep it at that. <laughs> but yeah. I just want to expand, give you guys some different content because I don't know about you, but I love watching story times on YouTube. Like, I could watch story times on YouTube all day, every day if I could. Like, for real, I love story times, and I have a lot of crazy stories, so I'm like, this would be kind of cool. Like, you could watch me do my nails and hear a crazy story. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know. I just be talking. Oh, and before I forget to mention, I still am doing a huge giveaway soon. I think for the giveaway, I was just going to do one winner and have, like, them get all the stuff, but I think I'm going to break it up into three different things and have three different winners. Um, I purchased a whole bunch of products from like Amazon, Shein, and AliExpress, which is why it's taking forever because you know when you order from AliExpress, it takes like two months, but I think they said all this stuff should be in by February 7th, I believe. So I'm not sure. Just make sure you have my post notifications on and um, that's your up to date with my videos because as soon as everything comes in, I'm going to drop it in my video. Like I said last time, random because I really want my true like subscribers and supporters to win this one. I'm not even going to like put it in the title or nothing because I'm not doing it for like the views or like, you know, I'm not doing it for that. I'm doing it because I genuinely appreciate your support and I want to say thank you. And give you a little bit back because you know I've been give, granted the opportunity to be monetized and receive products and stuff and it all wouldn't be possible if it weren't for you guys so this is just my way of saying thank you yeah okay but I'm gonna shut up now because I'm getting so sentimental ew <laughs>
Now I'm going to go in with a nail file and I'm going to shape down to the square. Full nail covers really do all of the work for you so this step isn't too long at all because the shaping is like pretty much done for you. But I'm just going to go in and kind of taper them a little bit more. This nail file, it looks like I was doing a good job but I don't know, this nail file was giving me some troubles. I like my... um curved nail files and if you don't know what i'm talking about check my link in the description box i purchased mine off of amazon and i don't know they just make filing and shaping so much easier for me but this nail file is fine too i just prefer my curves i'm gonna go in with my e-file again this step isn't necessary i'm just doing it because i like to bring like that c curve back from underneath my nails if i lost it with some poly gel so yeah i'm just going in with a sanding band i'm just going in with my sanding band and going underneath of my nails so now i'm going to go in with a lint free wipe and some alcohol and just wipe my nails down Poly gel can leave a little bit of a sticky residue, so um, you want to definitely do this. You want to do this step before filing too, but I did it again because I want to make sure that, that there, there is no dirt or anything on that white before I go in and top it off. So now I'm going to be using um, a Gershon top coat that I got out of a nail kit and I'm just going to be topping off my nails. So here is what we are looking like. I got a new cuticle oil. Ow. I purchased this from TJ Maxx. I seen it. I said, oh yeah, this is it. Look how cute it is. Like swipe, swipe. I love it. This is like, it's so cute. And I think it was like $3.99. I'm not sure. But I think I'm going to fill this bottle up with my old one when I run out of it. But yeah, I just love how like I can brush on my cuticle oil. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so in love with it. But yes, I'm just going to go in with some cuticle oil. This is the best part because I feel like it just makes my nails pop. And boom, here is the final results. So in love. So in love. I love a classic French set. Like that's like my go-to on my toes, everything. But yes, so here are the final results. If you guys enjoyed, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on everything that I talked about in the video. And let me know um, what you guys want to see next. If you're interested in seeing different things, different poly gel sets, dip nails, whatever the case may be. Leave it down in the comments and I'll be sure to give it a try. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!